Hey everybody, I'm Nicole Rivera from the Stop Writing Alone podcast here on my YouTube channel, the NV Rivera YouTube channel, sharing writing prompts with you every single week in the year of 2020 because I am trying to write 52 short stories in 52 weeks and I figured I'd need some help. So I'm sharing all the prompts that I'm using every single week here on the channel. And some of them are prompts that I make up but most of them are from various writing resources that I've collected over the years. And this week I wanted to share with you one that I have on my phone. So the app that I wanted to look at this week is from writing.com. It's called A Plus Writing Prompts. It's not a free app, um, but the, the price is so cheap that I think it is worth it. Uh, it is uh, $3.99 in the Apple Store. I'm, I'm sure it's comparable in Google Play. When you open the app, it gets right to business. It asks you uh, to, you could just shake your phone or you swipe or you tap and you get right into your prompt screen. So if I shake up my phone, um, it will start fetching prompts in whichever category I was last in. Now, if you look along the bottom, uh, the first option there is favorites. I, I haven't saved anything to favorites yet, as it says. But all along the bottom here are uh, different categories of types of prompts. And this is why I say the $3.99 goes far and wide because this is uh, things, you know, that you would get in multiple different types of prompt books. Sketches is a cool uh, general sort of prompt where you can get a genre and a type of writing and then some literal sketches, a, a block of color and some items to sort of use to inspire some writing. Um, I've seen all different types of writing come up in these sketches. Uh, this is prose, this, there you go, a hundred word story, your choice, uh, five minute free write. I've even seen haiku come up. So really whatever you're up for can happen right there and it's a lot of great options. The second uh, type of uh, prompt that they offer for you is what they call scenes and this is where they give you a place a character an object and then this last bit where it says smell on this one often changes sometimes it's mood it's been other things but what i love about this option aside from all of the details that you get in these um in these prompts here is that you can change an individual aspect of it so let's say i really don't know what i can do with um, I mean, all of these look really good, but let's say I'm not liking the object of a scratch off ticket. I can simply tap it, double tap it, and it'll give me a brand new object. Or if I didn't like the character, I can double tap it and I will get a different character. So it's, uh, it's customizable as well as, you know, there's this limitless amount because again, if I just shake up my phone, I'll get a new one right away. Or if I tap, I'll get a new one right away. On the next uh, category, you have text. And this is, you know, your very standard beginning of a story idea prompt. He was high up in the steelwork. Building skyscrapers wasn't for dot, 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 begin. And again, you can tap it to get a second one. And as you can see, um, the genres vary as you go throughout. Uh, the next is words, and that's exactly what it sounds like. It's a splash of different words to choose from to enter into a story. And finally, the last is news. And this is pretty cool because it just gives you various headlines. Um, and, and it's, you know, not necessarily something that we think of, but yeah, the news is very, uh, when you have a headline without the article, it could be very intriguing and, and inspire a story all its own. But if you wanted to know the story, you could tap for that article there as well. So what I want to do with you this week is I want to pick one of these prompts to do uh, for our story. And um, I am thinking that I'm going to offer up one of these scenes and I will put it up on the screen right now. So what we are going to do this week is the place is a Statue of Liberty. The character is a Wall Street guru. The object is an antique popcorn machine and the smell is fresh brewed coffee. Uh, this has my hometown just all over it, I think. 
it's just coming off the page for me right now. So I would love to see what you guys have to write for this story this week. Um, but go check out this app, the A plus writing prompts, uh, app. Again, it's in the app store. I've seen it in the Google play store as well. I'm an iPhone girl. So that's, that's what I'm most familiar with. Uh, but it's a cheap app with plenty of flexibility for you for years to come. Good luck, happy writing, and I will see your story hopefully in the comments very soon. Happy writing.